young Russians from Kola Peninsula refuse to fight in Ukraine. The Kola Peninsula is among Russia's most militarized regions and several closed military towns are located along its remote Arctic coast. Arctic Today media outlet reports this. It is noted that hundreds of local men have gone to fight in Ukraine, among them also many submariners. Still, judging from figures from the Zalzersk military court, the local opposition to war is growing. Figures obtained by the Russian version of the Barents Observer show that 50 men have been convicted for their refusal to join the armed forces over the past year. Since the start of the full-scale onslaught on Ukraine in February 2022, the number is 76. Arctic Today says that the verdicts are based on Articles 337, 228 and 339 in the Russian Criminal Code, all of them connected to refusal to serve in the military, including desertion. Before the start of the war, the number of cases were seven, five times lower. The data from the military court does not specify the names of the indicted nor their place of residency. But it is likely that the lion's share of the men come from the naval base of Zalzersk and neighboring towns. According to Arctic Today, among the refuseniks, men that refuse to join the army is Dmitry Vasiletz, who got two years behind bars for his unwillingness to go to war. He was in June 2023 declared political prisoner by human rights organization Memorial. I am senior Lieutenant Dmitry Vasiletz. The political prisoner tells, the senior lieutenant was sent to Ukraine in the early phase of the war. After five months on occupied land, Vasiletz got a leave and never returned to the battlefield. The figures from the court in Zauzers correspond with discoveries made by newspaper Media Zona. Journalists from the newspaper searched through publicly available records of military garrison and district courts and found a major increase in the number of cases against refuseniks. Only in March 2024, 684 such sentences were passed by Russian military courts. Zalzersk today has a population of about 7,700 people. It is known for its powerful nuclear submarine bases that today includes attack subs of the Yaren class, among them the brand new K-560, Severodvinsk and K-561 Kazan. A huge fire has broken out at Copenhagen's 17th century former stock exchange one of the Danish capital's most famous landmarks, engulfing the historic building's roof and toppling its distinctive spire, we are witnessing a terrible spectacle. The Bourse is on fire, the Chamber of Commerce, which occupies the building next to Christian's Board Palace, the seat of the Danish parliament, wrote on X, everyone is asked to stay away. Culture Minister Jacob Engelschmidt said 400 years of Danish cultural heritage had gone up in flames. The fire is very violent, and it is on every floor, Jacob Vedsted Andersen, the fire service's director of emergency management, told Denmark's public broadcaster doctor you just can't take it in. It's really raging. The flames are like 20 m high, he added. The Proviantus wing at Christiansborg, the nearby seat of Denmark's parliament, has been completely evacuated due to fears that it could be affected by flames and smoke. All meetings and hearings at the parliament have been cancelled with employees being told to stay at home. Copenhagen's fire services said that the building's copper roof was making fighting the fire especially challenging. The building, dating back to 1625, is a stone's throw from Denmark's parliament, the Folketing, and the royal palace, Christiansborg. Danish media said the nearby square was being evacuated, the old stock exchange was being renovated and had been shrouded in scaffolding and protective plastic covering. It currently houses the Danish Chamber of Commerce, which described the scenes on Tuesday morning as a terrible sight. Local craftsman Henrik Grage told Danish TV that it was a tragic day. This is our Notre Dame, he said, comparing it with the fire that engulfed the roof and spire of the cathedral in the center of Paris in 2019. Passing residents joined emergency services.